look for a pattern and make this code shorter using loops. So we see we ha still have that same stair step design. It just has a different pattern that it's drawn with. It's drawn with this pattern here. So we're still going to do the same thing. We're going to loop the same thing to get to the end. So like I said, it was move forward, turn right, move forward, turn left. So those four blocks are going to get us down one step, one stair step, and point us in the right direction to go down the next one. So I'm going to take and throw away all this other stuff because we don't need that. Bring out my loop. Now I don't want the set pattern in the loop because I don't want to repeat that over and over and over again. I just want that to happen that first time when I run it. It's going to set the pattern as this. Then it's going to move forward, turn right, move forward, turn left. And if I repeat that one, two, three, four times, it will get me to the end. Like I said, remember this stair pattern because it's going to help you out a lot in the upcoming levels on Code